Greetings everyone. Uh, today I had a chance to look at Stellar Warfare and before I do get into my overall review of the game I would like to thank the developer for sending me a copy of the game through the Steam Creator program. So thank you for that. If you are interested in looking at my final review on my creator page the link will be in the description below. So I will be talking over some gameplay that I did try out this evening, um, mainly the tutorial of the game and how the controls work and the gist or function of the overall game. So before we get going, I'd also like to mention that I'm not normally accustomed to these styles of games and that I would closely compare this game to the likes of like Age of Empires, but in space, of course. So my first initial reaction I had when I booted up the tutorial of the game was, well, there's a lot. And that was mainly to the objective list that was on the left hand side of the screen that you can uh, see as I'm playing through the tutorial. Now, this list was mainly for the objectives of the game, right? These could be better suited as a, like a progressive list and have them appear at the top of the screen as, as they drop down as you're completing that objective. And once you complete the objective, either it disappears or a new objective reappears over it and you continue forward, making the tutorial not so much linear, but instructed on what you should be really doing. Once you do complete an objective, there are prompts that to pop down with more information about what you actually just did and how that actually benefits you within the game so that was really handy um, to have so for example the harvester a little uh, gathering ship would go to asteroids and uh, bring it back for you and you would gain metal from that so you, the more harvesters the more resources you get etc um so after about 15 minutes of playing around and sort of learning my way through the game, I got used to the controls. Now, they were a little bit challenging at the start and a little bit intimidating, but the more you kind of try it out and test, I got hang of it after about 15 minutes. I continued making my way through the objectives and found myself rather actually enjoying the experience. The gunfights were surprisingly, well, awesome, if I'm being honest, and found myself verbally cheering on my little spaceships when they were getting into conflict with the opposing AI um, and the sounds and visuals of these gunfights were well like I think I verbally said it here while I was playing was wow I really like these explosions and wow this is really cool and that got me involved in these space fights and encounters to a uh, like I mentioned I was cheering on my little AI ships in hoping they won that little battle now after completing the tutorial, which took about half an hour for me diddly daddling around and looking at everything I could, there's a few things that I think that would benefit from slight adjustments. The first thing is, well, what I mentioned before with the objectives, having them pop up individually as you go would make it a little bit more easier to understand how the game works and how it functions. But that just being the tutorial, it's not a huge deal and not a huge icebreaker as there is much more to the game than just the tutorial. And well, second, I did notice there was a bit of a lighting issue on the ships. And when I say issue, it's not more of an issue, more of a personal opinion. Um, when you zoom real close into the ships or from a close distance, they are very bright and they have this very bright glare to them. Now, at one stage, I did look around to make sure if there's any sort of in-game stars or solar systems that may be contributing to that light in, you know, retrospect of the game, but there was nothing but vast space. So maybe adjustments of the brightness so you could really enjoy those in encounters close and personal without the like, glare really getting in the way would be would be nice. Overall to the people who really enjoy massive fights which you, you can strategize and micromanage and get involved in like Age of Empires then this game would be quite a bit of fun um, and given the fact that you can verse other people with massive space fights seems like a very fun concept and very enticing one even to somebody who doesn't normally play these games. So this has been my review or 
a look at Stellar Warfare. Now, if you are interested in this game or having a look at the store page, a link will be in the description below to a link to the Steam store page where this game is. Now, if you're also interested in my curated page where I have done other reviews of games, um, link will also be in the description. That is all for now. So, safe travels, and I hope you guys look after yourselves. I will see you in the next Admiral Game Log. See you for now.